Yes, uh, for my, my, my message for my youth, fellow Bicolanos, uh, that continue on the fight. Uh, although we don't have any more uh, invasion right now, no? Uh -huh. But what I'm talking about here is, uh, is our way of life. Uh, the love of country that uh, what I mentioned earlier is very important to us. It is not only for for the elders to know, but especially for the millennials. The love of country is very important because that that is the main anchor that we have for us to be able to survive towards the future. Because if we don't love our country, if we don't have that nationalistic spirit in us, then how can we be proud of the Philippines? We have to be proud of the Philippines and we have to look towards the future on how to contribute towards developing and progressing the Philippines. Of course, there, there, is, there is no perfect government. There is no perfect, probably leader or politician. But what we can, we can contribute we, if we identify those gaps, then we try to give solutions, not add to the problem. So it, sometimes, uh, although there are many ways for us to be able to to show uh, to show disgust, to show anger, to show frustration, but I would suggest we as Filipinos we should unite and be part of the solution. We can we, we have to bind ourselves together if we want to survive towards the future. Because if we don't unite and then if we if we divide ourselves into many bits and pieces, what do you think will happen to our country? And this is the only country that we have. Uh -huh. Even though you you you, you settle in, in America, you settle in New Zealand, you settle in Australia, it is not your country. It is this country is our home. So what do we do in our home? We fix it. We provide solutions. We contribute to its progress and development in in what in what way we can big or small. So yeah, uh, I believe in the strength of the Bicolanos and we have to continue on developing. We can start inside and then later on we can grow outside the Son Visayas Mindanao. But uh, we do, do not forget the sense of uh, the nationalistic spirit and the sense of uh, patriotism, love of country, which uh, W.T. Vincent, my lolo, uh, had espoused and still espousing until now through us, through us. I would like to thank also uh, Governor Tangado for, for, uh, for, for pursuing and highlighting uh, the birthday of uh, Lolo Bintao, even though it's only 10 years already. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he pushed it for it. Uh, and and uh, the, the family, the Vincent's family, uh, is very grateful because of that one. But uh, our leaders at that, in in Bicol, really specifically in the Cabernet Norte, didn't forget, and that is the most important thing. Eh? Uh, you don't forget, and uh, Governor Taliado and uh, all all of his staff members, uh, members of the San Juan and Guniang Palalawigan, would 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 still push for that one, and that is. The, the value of uh, what Vincent's left behind, Toto, that value. Okay, so yeah, uh, Toto, thank you very much for this interview. And then we don't forget.